isn't Not it? The fake stuff. This whole thing. <laughs> Not the fake <laughs> stuff. At a routine appointment, the last thing Lauren Gibbs' doctor expected to see was new muscle definition. But recent advances by Isis Pharmaceuticals are pushing a treatment forward. And researchers at the University of Missouri Bond Life Sciences Center are pursuing a different target with the hope to treat the degenerative disease, spinal muscular atrophy. Right now, there's a, a number of indications that say that there's going to be a positive outcome in terms of increasing strength and uh, um, mobility with some of these effective SMN-inducing compounds. New antisense drugs are changing the lives of individuals and families living with the disease. We're fortunate that the girls do not have type 1, which is the most severe, they have type 2 and type 3. And so as the months and the years have gone on, you know, it's gotten a little bit easier because we realized, hey, we can, we can do this, we're getting through it. And, um, and really, um, right now, their lives are, are good. The biggest difference between the two sisters is mobility. My sister and I, we have different forms of SMA, which is actually rare for siblings because most siblings with SMA have the same type. Lauren has been participating in the ISIS clinical trial with a drug similar to the one being developed in Lorson's lab. She's shown more strength, stamina, and can walk for longer distances. Her doctor, who is not involved in the trial, observed. Today, when I saw her stand out of her wheelchair, um, it was immediately struck me, in fact, her posture when she stood up, how quickly she stood up. It's a dramatic change from what she was doing prior to the study. I think the technology that's evolving in research is opening up new avenues of investigation for us. Um, I think there is a, a big desire to find a cure for these types of disorders and diseases. Um, there certainly is from the parental side and the family side. And I think that spurred more interest from the researchers themselves. Uh, so there's been a lot of interest in this area uh, for various reasons. For the University of Missouri Bond Life Sciences Center, this is Paige Blankenbuehler.